In Matthew chapter 14, there's the famous story of Jesus walking on the water. And if you recall, the disciples went without Jesus out into the lake, but the wind and the waves were high. And during the night, Jesus walks on the water out to meet them. But of course, when they see him, they're terrified. I mean, they, they've, no human has ever walked on water before. So this is extremely frightening. They assume it's a ghost. But as soon as they realize it is Jesus, then Peter asks for permission to step out, walk on the water towards Jesus. Now for Peter, this is an extraordinary act of faith and courage. I mean, no one has ever walked on the water before that day. And his faith in Jesus was obviously so high that he wanted to do what Jesus did. So as soon as he, they, we knew it was Jesus, he just said, I want to do that. And what was also remarkable is Jesus said, absolutely, come on, step out in faith and walk towards me. Now you see, I would have thought that Jesus' response would be, no, you stay in the boat, only supernatural beings can do this. But remember, Jesus came to the planet to show us how a man can walk with God. So that means Jesus was walking on the water as a man. So then it doesn't surprise me then that he invited Peter to walk on water like as a man because Jesus had now proven what a man could do who walks with God. So Peter heads out onto the water, which of course is extraordinary, but it didn't last very long. Because the waves were high and the winds were high, it distracted him and he became aware of the wind and the wave. He lost sight of Jesus and he sank. Now what happened at that moment where Peter went from walking on the water to sinking? Well, what happened was the winds and the waves, the, the winds and the waves so distracted him and it brought back memories, fearful memories of the past so that he knew as a fisherman what wind and waves could indicate and that is death. And so he became frightened and distracted by his own past as a fisherman, knowing the risks. And he was distracted, his faith dropped, fear replaced it, and he sank. Now, Jesus is always speaking to us and encouraging us to use our faith, step out of the boat, walk with him, and do extraordinary things with him. But we talk ourselves out of it. And we talk ourselves out of it because we look at our past. We say, well, you know, I'm really not that strong a Christian. I'm such a failure. I'm a loser. I've had so many mistakes. So many scary things have happened. I don't want to rock the boat and take any risks. And so we talk ourselves out, out of stepping out of the boat and stepping out in faith, which is God's will for us. And Satan loves this. He knows that this is the easiest way to prevent Christians from ever doing anything that involves faith or risk or walking with God. So he's always bringing back your past, bringing back fearful memories to discourage you. So you just say, oh Jesus, go ask somebody else. So what I want you to do is realize that God is always challenging you, step out of the boat, walk with him, and use your faith to do things that you never thought possible. So ask Jesus, what fearful or painful memories are in your past that are holding you back from stepping out of the boat? And remember too, Jesus said, that we would do what he did and even greater things. So raise your bar of expectation of what you can do with God's help and the empowering of the Holy Spirit. And don't let your past swamp your future. Keep your eyes on Jesus and be ready to step out of the boat when he invites you to because he will empower you to do that. And if you've had a wonderful experience like this, we want to hear about it. So in the box below this video, Share your testimony. If you've stepped out of the boat and you're a little fearful at first, but something extraordinary happened, let us know so that we can all be encouraged. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get your free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by clicking on the link, join the transformation movement, and that will take you to the form. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, ask God, are you asking me to step out of the boat? What fears are holding me back? because you'll never know where your faith could take you.